This is Vegas. Hey everyone, this is Tim. I hope you're doing well. Uh, enjoying my time here in Vegas, uh, but also uh, working away as well. And really great to get some time away and enjoy for the rest of the evening. Uh, today is Friday, and as you can see, it's late uh, and getting dark out in Vegas. But that's a good thing because Friday evening time, I heard there was a fantastic buffet, thanks to Bill and Lisa on their channel. Uh, and it's a spectacular buffet from what it seems and a great value too. It's over at the South Point and I can't wait to give it a try. Thank you so much for joining and uh, getting a little bit hungry. And actually, this isn't my first time going there. Uh, a couple of months back, I made a trip out to South Point and had a fantastic experience there. Lots of food and of course, the people there. But back then, unfortunately, midway between the crab legs and some of the desserts were called in and I had to come back to the hotel and finish it up. So I really didn't get to share that experience, but hopefully this time is different. I hope you're hungry because I am. Uh, let's go to the South Point for their seafood night. Uh, work is done. Come on, let's go. Thank you. All right, thanks. So that was a quick cab ride and we are here at the South Point and it's a great experience. Beautiful entranceway. Let's go in and uh, having been here before, trust me, this is going to be pretty spectacular. And if I recall, there's a bit of a lineup and I didn't come here early and that's a mistake. And I think we'll be in the thick of it and I can see it right up ahead. That's the Garden Buffet. And this is the infamous lineup when you don't come early. So many people in line. Hey guys, hey Donna, how are you? Hi. It's our first day in Las Vegas. Oh really? Well, how long have you been waiting in this line? Too long. Too long. An hour. <laughs> An hour? No way. Yes way. All right. So I still have some lining up to do all the way back there. So fantastic people there, but look how long this line is. It just goes on and on and on. I think the Garden Buffet is halfway in the casino and this is all the way to the end of the casino. So it's pretty huge and it's all, oh my goodness. Oh, and it's longer, it wraps around. So again, words of wisdom listen to bill and lisa come early otherwise uh it's like a three-hour lineup finally at the end of the line so garden buffet is right down there and it, the line comes through and it turns the corner and it comes this way so i think it's going to be a bit of a wait and so glad to have you join me and uh if i'm not hungry now or if you're not hungry now i think we will be by the time we get to the front i guess we'll just have to wait Hi, thank you. How are you? Finally, we're at the front of the line and I can't wait. Uh, let's see. Renee, thank you so much. Coffee is good for the house, but I don't want it your coffee. All right. And the pink one is for your free beer or wine. I remember the pink tickets for the wine and beer. Thank you so much. So I just go up there. What a nice atmosphere. And uh, I got my tickets from Renee. And uh, all I need is a table and uh, away we go. Hi. Just for me, just what? one. Do you want any beer or wine now? Oh, can I um? Oh, can I get a glass of white wine? All right. We have lots of drinks here, beer and wine, and I think that is champagne in a plastic cup. Thank you so much. Oh. All right. So I got my champagne, and I think I'm gonna follow Suli to the table. All right, so so glad to be at a wonderful table. Uh, really fantastic folks here. And to top it off, to have a drink right at the table and a nice cup of champagne. And I can't think of a better way to start the buffet for the second time. Cheers. Mm. Very refreshing. And with that, I think uh, let's go check it out. Again, this is my second time here and uh, I'll show you what it's all about. It's pretty cool. So the buffet is pretty grand. It stretches from one end of the room 
seafood to the other end where they have all the desserts. And right in front of us is a wonderful salad and seafood station. So this is pretty lively and uh, it ought to be because uh, they are certainly generous with all the seafood and all the crab. Lineup number three for the steamed crab. But let me grab a plate first. I think I'm going to start right in the center. It's going to be salad and seafood for the first round and more and more rounds to come. Starting off, we have the cold seafood with the shrimp and the crab legs. But from experience, I'm going to skip those because there's the hot ones coming up. And look at the salad station. So some greens and some chicken salad. I think I'm going to grab a little bit of this because we've got to start breaking up the monotony of that wonderful seafood. But there's more salad, some broccoli and kale, ambrosia salad. It, uh, I don't know, I think I'm going to skip that. And I see my favorite salad coming up, potato. Let's grab a little bit of this. Uh, and we're about to round the corner. And here we see the cold seafood again. A couple of shrimp and some Dungeness crab. And back there you saw the snow crab, but this line here is for the warm crab legs and they're pretty generous with that and while we wait in line we get to peruse back there we see a massive pot of shrimp and i think they're making some pasta and the shrimp tacos which i think i definitely will go for but first the seafood we got some oysters but we'll definitely go for the crab i have snow crab and dancing oh can i have a little bit of both oh Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Oh my. And more. Thank you so much. Oh, that's okay. There's a 30 second rule. Oh my goodness. Jackie, thank you so much. You, ha you have really long and strong arms. This is fantastic. So this is the first plate and uh, man, Jackie is certainly generous. And let's see what else they have. Hi, David. How are you? Good. How 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 are you liking it so far? I, I do. How many plates did you guys have? One, huh? one the crab. Yeah. Plate. Yeah. Yeah. David, three. Oh my goodness! Yes. They certainly are generous. Yes. Yeah. So fantastic, folks. Here, three plates for David, and uh, more plates to come. So now that we have the seafood, let's check out what else they have. More seafood. So, a little bit of paella and a bit of salmon right on the paella. A little bit of sauce, oyster, Rockefeller, right over here. And number two. So, this is pretty amazing here clams and fried scallops. Some more veggies and potato. David, nice to see you again. <laughs> I'm they have more crab. So if Jackie didn't get you enough, there's more to come here. But I think I have plenty. And oh, shrimp cocktail. One of these. Oh, thank you. So this is pretty incredible. $40, incredible value with all the seafood and more. This is the Chinese station. A little bit of fried rice, calamari, and beef pad thai. You know, I was going to skip the carbs, but I don't think I can say no to a wonderful noodle dish. Just a little bit though, next to the scallops and some veggies for health, some broccoli, some cabbage. And I wonder what's in here. One way to find out. Okay, so these are shrimp dumplings and more barbecue. The barbecue pork, spring roll, and the pork ribs. And over there is a teppanyaki station okay. with the grill and all the items here and the corresponding items for said grill. Oh, and look at this. So I can't say no to some sea bass and there's barely enough room, but maybe right over here and wonderful fried goodness with the shrimp and the fish. So let's go for a fried shrimp and one to keep it company. And I think that's all. So round one is simply superb. Jackie really overdid it in the most wonderful way, as we say. 
and uh, lots of good food here. Overwhelming with seafood and I can't wait to dig in, but it's always nice to come back to your table and find something more. We have the champagne before and an ice cold Dr. Pepper. Much needed. That was a lot of work. And uh, let's give this a try. I'm gonna try that sea bass first. Usually sea bass is nice and succulent and you don't want to keep it waiting too long. And this looks quite meaty. Okay. Hmm. Not bad. Nice and meaty and a wonderful sauce, but you do have to eat these right away. Otherwise they tend to get a bit dry. Hmm. Very good. And I think it's time to roll up our sleeves and dig into that crab. I mean, look at this. Jackie is something else and really grateful to her for that. And let's try, I guess we'll try the Dungeness crab first. And the nice thing is that they split this for you already. Oh, look at that. So it is absolutely effortless and just a little bit of care and you can get, well, almost the whole knuckle out, but it's, it's kind of stuck in there. We'll give it a dunk in the butter. Mm. Not bad, a nice nibble. Now let's go for more. Give that a crack. And wonderful crab meat. And again, a little bit of butter. Oh, very nice. Dungeness crab is always good. Nice thing is that they crack everything for you. Now let's try a little bit of the snow crab. And we need to dig around. Oh, and look at this. This is wonderful. It's absolutely effortless. It's already split for you. And I think we just need to use our hands. Again, melted butter. Oh, and it's just sinking, soaking in. Oh, very good. The ropes of crab meat intertwine just hugs on and holds on to the most amount of butter possible. Perfect. Oh, very nice. But one cannot have crab alone. Let's try the shrimp. So that's looking really nice. All prepared for you, easy to eat. Mm. Oh, that is amazing. The shrimp has a wonderful texture, nice and springy and fresh and wonderful sweetness of the ocean. Cheers. Oh, very good. Can't wait to dig into the Oyster Rockefeller. Oh, wonderful cheesy goodness. And unfortunately, we got to eat these fresh. It's a little bit cold, but I still think it's going to be quite flavorful. Let's just dig this around. Nice crispy coating. Mm. Mm. It's not bad. It would have been better when it was hot, but I can't wait to combine the Pad Thai noodles with the scallops so that we have a stopper and makes a perfect compact bite. Mm. Mm. There's nothing as comforting as noodles and even better with seafood and yet better when it's deep fried. Oh. This is a fantastic first round, but checking around, they still have some great pizzas and calzones, and of course, the prime rib, the roast, the seafood, and the potatoes. So I'm gonna quickly finish this, round one, and we'll take it for round two and three and more. Oh, cheers. Mm, very nice. Round one was simply out of this world. That mountain of crab from Jackie. My deshelling skills have improved since. Instead of little nibbits and nuggets, I managed to get big pieces in one go. And while the sea bass was a little bit dry, that salmon was so soft and succulent with the luscious creamy sauce. Definitely go for the salmon. But skip the curry chicken. That was assertive. Thank goodness we have the Dr. Pepper. Mm. Otherwise, Ooh. I don't know if we could survive. But since we survived round one, 
let's go for round two with the roasts and the wonderful potatoes and uh, all the other seafood as well. Come on, let's go. So usually when I'm filming, I'm taking my time and it is getting a little bit late and the lineup is still going strong. But let's uh, get plate number two. And we are gonna make a beeline to that wonderful prime rib. So we're gonna pass by the fish and target the prime rib. That prime rib looks delicious. Can I get a slice? Wow, thank you so much. This is generous. Maybe a little bit of rib. Oh my goodness. Uh, how is the fish? Oh, maple glazed salmon. Can I get, oh, wow. Thank you. The folks here are certainly kind and uh, generous in the best possible way. And I think we need some sauces here. All right, a little bit of jus. Creamy horseradish. So we've got some mustard dill. And I think this is a remoulade sauce, but I think we're gonna go with a butter caper sauce with shrimp. No, uh, salmon, the All the over the salmon. One in each of them. But with the salmon and prime rib, we mustn't forget the potatoes. All right, so nice and creamy. And instead of the regular gravy, We'll use beef stroganoff as a potato gravy. Talk about killing two birds with one stone. Oh. Some pizza, vegetarian pepperoni, and uh, I think this has meat as well. And I think I'm gonna stay away from the bready stuff, but the calzone looks really good. And what caught my eye was that cheesy goodness. Oh, and it just pulls and stretches. and it leaves a trail back to the source. Break it off right here. But I think the calzone needs a little bit of sauce and what better sauce than a white clam sauce, more seafood. And I know it's supposed to go with a pasta, but that's okay. You're at a buffet, you do what you want. Half drizzle over here. All right, and there's still more seafood because after the pasta, you get the red clam sauce and some tilapia in a beautiful white sauce. Just a little bit here. And to top it off, a little bit more caper sauce. And then we've got some mussels and sausage and peppers. And to cap it off, I think I'm gonna return to one of the stations. There's a crab station, but we're not gonna get the crab. We're gonna go for the seafood taco and there's a line. Oh my goodness. Thank you for stocking this up. Okay. Oh, and we have one that fell off, but that's okay. I'm gonna take care of that. Right over here. Okay, and another one. Hi, Martha. Hi, the tacos look amazing. Can I get two uh, soft shell taco? Or maybe just one? Yeah, my plate's too full. Oh, thank you, Martha. So with a plate full, I think uh, we're ready to eat. So really rushing round two to make sure all the hot food stays hot. And now I have a dilemma. Do I go for the taco first or the prime rib? I don't think the prime rib can wait. Let's give that a try. All right. So cooling down, but this is wonderful. We've got the fat cap, or the cap of the prime rib. Really nice, very juicy. Little bit of cream horseradish. Mm. Very nice. It has cooled a little bit, and this is a medium well piece. I think uh, it's the luck of the draw when you go for a cut. A little bit of horseradish, but still very, very tender. It's a good prime rib. Mm. And while we're in the neighborhood, let's go for that salmon. But I'm more interested in the sauce as well. That one, I forgot what sauce this is, but even the sauce has shrimp and wonderful capers. Mm. 
Very good. Salmon is indeed nice and tender, and that creamy caper sauce just makes it extra special. Oh. And how can we have salmon and prime rib without some potatoes? And even better, it's potato with a gravy of beef stroganoff. Okay. Mm. Good prime rib, good potato. Two of the classics, and I think with the stroganoff and the potato, we're pretty much getting uh, the prime rib and potato in one bite. Mm. Mm. Very nice, and we mustn't forget about that calzone. And I still remember that string pull. Oh, or the cheese pull. So I think a little bit of that sauce, the white clam sauce with the calzone. Sometimes you just have to use your hands. As much as I'm trying to stay away from the bread, this is heavenly, beautiful filling with wonderful cheesy goodness and that white clam sauce. Mm. And a bit messy. And speaking of messy, time for the taco. Oh, this is absolutely full to the brim. Oh, and everything is leaking out, but in the best possible way, because that's what a good taco ought to do. Cheers. Oh. Messy, delicious shrimp taco. And that shrimp is actually a bit on the spicy side, but that coleslaw is nice and cooling. Very good. Mm. A big bite. Oh. Cheers. Round two was heavy, delicious, but heavy. I'm so glad that the crab was overfilling, toppling over. That crab just keeps getting better and better. Succulent large pieces of meat. And my deshelling skills are getting better. And I'm so glad they left the butter from the first round, dripping with seafoody, fatty goodness. So after all that, I don't think I can do any more except for round three, and that's dessert. Come on, let's check it out. Oh, by the way, this is quite late by now, and the line is still going strong. It's such an incredible deal. Let's go for dessert now. All right, so starting off an assortment of pies and cakes, green and pumpkin, cheesecake. Ooh, Boston cream pie. Let's go for one of those way at the back. And a bit of a reach. And look at this, chocolate pie. Gloria, thank you so much. Everything looks so good. What's the favorite here? Carrot cakes of Sydney. Oh. Uh, so I gotta listen to Gloria, and that's true. That carrot cake looks uh, superb. Let's get a little piece here. And that's kind of nice. Creme brulee, colorful sheet cakes, and pecan uh, pecan squares. Upside down pineapple cake. Wonderful gelatos. Hi, Spirit. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, fantastic. And I see you have pistachio ice cream. Oh, no, we ran out. Oh, you ran out. Okay. The butter pecan gelato. Oh, that looks really good. Oh, I think that's plenty. Oh. Oh, thank you so much. And then more desserts. Something warm and comforting. Custard and cobbler of peach and cake pops. And more mousses and sprinkles. And when you see sprinkles, there's soft serve ice cream. But I remember when I was here last time, there's a secret dessert that looks pretty good. And it's not in the dessert section, it's in the seafood section, right up there. Dessert tacos. Hi, Naveed, how are you? Not too bad. It's nice to find a dessert station hidden between the seafood station and the salad station. Can I get a dessert taco? Can I get a side of strudel with it? Thank you so much. So this is a bit of a dilemma. Two plates, one hand. Do you want to put together? Oh, sure, that'd be good. Oh, thank you, Naveed.
So round three looks better and better with the dessert round. And what a segue from round two with the shrimp taco to round three with the dessert taco. Let's give this a try. So this is a very delicate taco with fruit and cream and more cream on a twill. And I tell you, this is gonna get messy. Mm. But deliciously so. A light chocolate mousse with some additional creaminess and a crispy, crunchy twill. And I gotta try that strawberry. Mm. Very good. Next up, a wonderful plate of cakes and pies and ice cream. I can't think of a better way to end the meal with some carrot cake and some butter pecan gelato. Very nice. And some gelato. Mm. Very good. And as Gloria suggested, that carrot cake is moist and tender and a butter pecan. Mm. Finally, the chocolate pie. Mm. Delicious, just like the name suggests. So this is the Garden Court Buffet at the South Point Casino Hotel. Fantastic deal. About $40 with a loyalty card. Unlimited amount of seafood, and they are certainly generous. Very lively, very open and just as festive as the first time. And last time when I was here, I was disappointed that I couldn't show you. But sometimes when work calls, you just have to get up and go. But, you know, it can't get any worse because all I have to do is come here again and film it and enjoy all this. Thank you so much for joining and keeping me company. This is a, a real treat and especially a treat seeing all the people around and uh, saying hi. Really kind folks here and great servers. <laughs> Jackie with her strong arms. So I think we're gonna call it an evening. Gonna finish up the champagne and the desserts. And until we see each other again, I hope you're keeping well, I hope you're eating well, and I hope you're traveling safe. Uh, take care of each other and God bless to you. Cheers. Very nice. More to do.